Okay, hello everybody. So this week we're going to start a new topic in maths called position and direction. And it's all about looking at a graph. Okay, so step one is position in the first quadrant. We call this the first quadrant. This is because we can actually split the graph into four separate parts. But don't worry about that too much. We're just going to look at this, the first quadrant. Um, you have a, what we call the y-axis. Okay, and that's your vertical line. So vertical means to go up. And we have our horizontal axis here, which is called the x-axis. And that goes across. We also have a word here called coordinate. All right, so we plot points on our graph. And where we plot a point, we call it a coordinate. So let's have a look. So it says here, plot the following points on the grid. So four, five. Okay, now you can see we write coordinates in brackets and we separate the numbers with a comma. Really important to do that. Now the most important rule, and I'm sure you remember this from year four and from year three, is that when we're plotting points on a graph, we always go along the corridor and up the stairs. Now it's really important, you're going to find this a bit tricky on Seesaw to do, so you need to make sure you choose the pen option, but choose quite a um, narrow one. Okay, so we're going to plot four, five. So first thing we do is start at zero, you go along the corridor, so we're going along to the first number, which is the number four, and then we go up the stairs to the number five, and we mark that with a little X like that. Okay, so now we have to plot 8, 5. So start at 0, go along the corridor to 8, up the stairs to 5, and make a little cross there. Then we've got 10, 10. So along the corridor to 10, and up the stairs to 10. And the last one is 3, 10. So along the corridor to 3, up the stairs to 10. And we have plotted those four coordinates on this grid. Okay. So this one again, plot the following points on the grid. So 2, 1, along the corridor, up the stairs. 5, 3, along the corridor to 5, up the stairs to 3. 8, 1, along the corridor to 8, up the stairs to 1. 8, 8, along the corridor to 8, up the stairs to eight, and two eight, along the corridor to two, and up the stairs to eight. And we've plotted these five coordinates on our grid. Okay, so this one asks us, what are the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle? First of all, let's look at this word, vertices, because you're gonna come across this a lot, okay? This is a mathematical term for corner. Okay, so a triangle has three vertices. Okay, the um, vertex, you might see this word, sorry, put my writing. Vertex is the singular. So one vertex and three vertices. Okay, and all it means is the corner. So what are the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle? Now, again, you always write, the first number you write is along the corridor. So let's take this point here this vertice. Okay, so if I go along the corridor, I'm going to get to the number six, I go up the stairs and I hit number nine. So the coordinates for that are six, nine. Okay, now I'm going to look at the vertice of this corner. So again, you go along the corridor first of all, get to the number eight, go up the stairs and I get to the number 11. So the coordinate for this one is eight, 11. And then I've got one final one here, okay, along the corridor to the number 9, up the stairs, also number 9. So this coordinate is 9, 9. So really important, the first number is always the one that's along the x-axis, along the corridor. The second number is the number that is on the y-axis. Okay, so what are the coordinates of the vertices of the rectangle? So, the rectangle obviously has four vertices, four corners. So we need to find the coordinates 
of each of those. So we'll start with this one. So we go along the x-axis to two and go up and we get to five on the y-axis. So two, five. Okay, let's look at this one. Again, along the corridor to two and up to 10. So that one is two for the x-axis and 10 for our y-axis. Okay, let's look at this point here. Along the corridor, or along the x-axis, goes to 11, up the stairs, and it hits number five on the y. So that is 11, five. And the last bit to C, okay, along the corridor to 11, and up the stairs to 10. 11, 10. Okay, there we go. All right, so pause your video and complete questions one to four on Seesaw. Okay, so we've got a point that's being plotted here. Okay, all right. So Mo says the point is 83, coordinates for that point, And Alex says the coordinates are 3, 8. Okay, who do you agree with? Can you spot the mistake the other child has made? So hopefully you'll remember along the corridor, up the stairs. The coordinates for that point are 8, 3. So actually Mo is correct. If it was Alex's, she said 3, 8, which actually would have been 3, would have been up here. 3, 8 is up there. Okay, so Mo is correct. Alex has made the error because she went up um, the y-axis first and then across to the x-axis. Okay, she went up the stairs and then along the corridor. It's not that, it's the other way around. Okay, try to complete the rest of the questions on Seesaw.